Okay, so here we've got process, and if we go to the build material tab here, you can see we have parts associated with uh, many of the tasks in here. You can just hover over them, and it will pop up the description of the parts that are used each step here. Now, there's a number of reports at the top here. We're just going to run through them fairly quickly. There's a view process bill of materials. So if I click on this, it brings up a screen, and this shows you for each of the tasks in the process. So you can see here mold parts. These are the different uh, in the load parts area. There's two quantitative two of these items are used: the part number, the unit of measure, and the price. And there's no price in this particular case here. So you can see for each of this, the the uh, tasks in the process. It shows you the activities, it shows you the quantities, how many are used, and the part numbers and so forth. And uh, obviously this would be something you could perhaps pick, uh, print out for the guys on the line here. Uh, you can also export it to Excel just by clicking on it down here. Uh, that option is actually available. If you point down at the task at the bottom here, hit the right mouse button, you'll see there's an option here to add parts. Uh, that would allow you to add parts to that particular uh, task or you can see the bill of material and the only difference here is it only shows you the bill of material for that one task so here's the bill of material for the mold parts if I close that I come over here and maybe hit it on the right the mount wheels do the bill of material this is the bill of material for the mount wheels so you can see you get the option either to see the uh, the bill of material for the entire process up here or hit the right mouse button on one of the uh, task descriptions down here and select bill of material and then you can see the parts associated just with that particular task.